All right, so I watched Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and this is the sequel to the first movie from Tim Burton and with Michael Keaton back in the iconic role as Beetlejuice and going back into the world that, that Burton has created. And I, I gotta say, I was impressed uh, for, for what went down, and, and I think that this is a good legacy sequel done right and plus this will be my spoiler free review of the film so no spoiler so you don't have to worry about that but I'm going to talk about the positives and the negatives that like prevented this movie from like being better but but again like there are some good things that I do want to say about it but there's like so much more that I want to talk about in this video and so if you're new then be sure to, to, to subscribe and hit the notification bell so I'm not on any future videos including this one but now let, let's talk about it. I feel like returning to the world of Tim Burton in, in this film as this was especially after the first movie and it, even with the first Beetlejuice which really impressed me especially with My Michael Keaton as the iconic role of Beetlejuice and he, he has like, like all that awesome humor and comedic lines but if even with I think this is like like a follow-up like a legacy sequel and that, that like a takes place like in, in this like a modern age but I feel like what really impressed me is the way the direction that it, it, it headed but I, I feel like uh, Tim Burton really outdone himself especially with the practical effects and just with you know the sound design and with the afterlife and like and just with, with the way that it is upgraded from the first movie it, it is really outdoes itself as well but if, if even like just with my experience with it it, it felt like a it, just like a new ex experience but if even like it touch upon like layers from the first movie but even with the sequel it does just that and also i mean I, and yes i enjoyed the first movie but even with the sequel i thought this was a sequel done right it has like great performances what we're going to talk about it was and it even like it, it manages to deliver a good story within the world of tim burton especially for the character of beetlejuice I want to say for the way that Tim Burton pulled this off and, and the way that he, he was able to tell a story with the sequel, I feel like that, that's stuff that I really enjoyed from this movie. And then like uh, you had uh, the, the return of the Deetses with Lydia and with the mom and then plus uh, she has a daughter now played by Jenna Ortega her name is Astrid but I, I feel like with the characters in, in this film and with the way with the way that, that they tell the story especially as there are some callbacks from, from the first movie but even with the return of the, the old characters and adding uh, the new addition to the cast it, it really felt like very cool but even like just with the other characters, like I don't know if I was interested in, but there are definitely some parts that I mean, it, it, it was fine, but it, it was a bit lagging. But with the performances that I did, definitely enjoyed, especially Jenna Ortega, like she's became one of those rising stars in Hollywood, but but now uh, playing Astrid in, in the sequel, I feel like she was really the standout character. I mean, I just really, really like how she brought it all, like uh, how she like how she's the daughter of Lydia Deeds who like experiences ghosts and trauma and like and like and that's why like Jenna Ortega's character feels as she is entering like a life where like, people are like uh, make, making fun of her and, and like and not believing like her mom about ghosts but I, I definitely feel like of how Lydia Deeds and of where her character left off, I thought it, it was pretty much well done. But the way that they handled her character, I, I thought it, it was really, really good. And, and the fact that uh, she is now a, a mother to Astrid and with the way that, that they handled her development, and it has these attachments that made, made me fell in, in love with. But and like, again, I, I liked her from the first movie when she, she was with the family, but now being in, in, in the sequel now as, as like a mother, it, it, it is really, really, really heartfelt. And with her connections to Beetlejuice and you know, with that terror that, that is inside her. And, and also Catherine O'Hara, I really enjoyed her performance as well. But I, I like the return of this family and the fact with that house that, that was from the first movie. And I feel like I, I just really liked everything, like especially it, it, it delivers some good scares, it, it delivers some good sound design, uh, 
like gold just to give you fun time vibes and like and especially like like this is like a perfect Halloween season movie but it, it definitely but it feels like pretty much a Tim Burton film. And next up I want to talk about Michael Keaton and his return to the character because again I and also I loved him from the first movie and with the way that he manages to to deliver his lines and the humor and and the comedy it it, it, it like hits hard and, and like a Keaton I, I, I still got it like to this day because I, I could tell he really had fun in the role like I mean you know, that's from what, 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 what I could tell from his performance but even overall uh, just with the way that he ma manages to still d deliver on Beetlejuice and to deliver all, all, all the humor and, and, and the comedy especially with the iconic line the juice is loose but if, if, even just with the way that it feels like to go back into like that attic, and so especially with that uh, city re remodel like, and saying his name three times. But it, again, it captures like the vibes from the first movie, but it manages to the, to deliver a new meaning, it's just, especially as it, it's like attracting a new generation, as especially with, with having a Jenna Ortega and have, having it reach like you know like a younger audience, like like all the new. But I, I feel like there's like so some. Or it's like, like my theater, my my, my audience would just like. There's some good laugh out loud moments and, and parts that that were just really funny, but it, it still manages to to deliver a good story. And, and just overall, this has good moments and, and stuff to make you laugh out loud. It, it's pretty funny. And I mean, even even how the movie looks, and I don't know if it's like a rehash from the first movie, but it still manages to deliver like new things to the to the table. And this is a sequel that I I really enjoyed. I mean, it's fun. It's really entertaining. You'll definitely get a laugh out, and it, it's really funny. And even with the way that with the way that Beetlejuice like hangs out with all these people, especially with with the afterlife stuff and, and the practical effects. It, it, it hits like to this day. And now moving on to stuff that I, I wasn't quite interested in, or perhaps the, the negatives. And, and that is that it focuses on too many subplots. It tries to. I mean, it keeps it hard to and, and struggles like to manage to to keep track of the main story that goes down. But I did enjoy some of the elements. Like, but but for how it fits into the movie overall, I don't know if it's all all over the place. But just with the character development, especially between Astrid and like a, a, the kid that like a, she a she is with, I mean, I, I found that very touching. But again, I I wasn't that in, in, interested in that d dynamic. But just with the the characters of where they are throughout the course of this movie, so some of it is interesting. Like uh, some of which and with, with the ideas. Not to go with, I was somehow like, it, it's funny, but I'm not a fan of it. But again, like go in, go into this movie and form your own opinion. But that there are funny things that goes down. But it, but it still it tries to manage to deliver a, a good story. I do want to point out Willem Dafoe, and I feel like he he did so good in, in this film. He brought so, so much uh, to his character. But even with, with the character that stood out the most to me is Bob, uh, the, the shrinker that works for Beetlejuice in, in, in the afterlife call center. But like, he, he has some awesome moments on screen, which I think our audiences will really enjoy out of him. What I'm trying to say here is that with the plot and the story, it, it's not perfect, but it, it manages to deliver a, a good time. Like, it's especially with, with, with a ghoulish feeling, like with, with having Beetlejuice back and, and with having all, all, all the Tim Burton vibes and, and the style that he d d delivers with, with, with all his movies, especially from from the old days. Like, but back into the sequel in like a modern in this modern day and age, it, it feels right. It, it feels so good. I, I give it like a solid rating in my book. But again, this was my most anticipated movie. But I there were some elements that I was not a fan of. But I wish that it could have trended out. But even with the third act, oh man, it is so hilarious with some like uh, sequences that that will really uh, give you laughs and like there's like I mean I don't want to reveal too much, but there is definitely something that like fans will definitely enjoy for the way it goes down towards the end. At the end of the day, it's just a good sequel. They have 
a, a fun time with you know, with your peeps, but man manages to to deliver good stuff. And especially with, with the chemistry be between Astrid and Lydia, the way that that, that they played this um, mother and daughter duo. Oh my gosh, it, 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 it is amazing. And also, one last thing that, that I'll say is that I had my time with this. It, it was in, in, enjoyable. Uh, my, my experience was amazing, especially throughout the movie open, especially from, from start to finish. It, it, it really feels like a sequel done right, but I mean, I, I never once got bored, but there were parts that were lagging. But again, it, it is still a, a good movie, and I, I, but it, it's a definite recommend, especially if you enjoyed the first movie, and I, I, I think fans and general general audiences will definitely get a kick out of the sequel. I mean, you'll love it, but again, it, it has some parts that I'm, I'm not a fan of, or just didn't quite feel feeling it for me, but again, Go into this movie and form your own opinion. It is still a great experience, especially from Tim Burton him himself. He manages to deliver all the ghoulish fun stuff. Like I mean, uh, the the effects were amazing. Uh, uh, the practical effects, especially from the Danny Elfman score, a match been made in heaven. But it, it's just like a sequel. That it really d deserves all, all the praise that it can get. That that's gonna do it uh, for this video. Again, uh, this comes out in theaters this weekend, so uh, get your tickets now. I mean, uh, see it uh, with, with a fam or with someone, or, and uh, just go into this movie and, and have a good time. And let, let me know in the comment section down below if you've seen the movie or if you plan on on seeing it. Let me know it in, in the comments down below. I'm curious your your, your opinion after you've seen it. And how would you read it? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. Also, follow all my social medias, all of which are linked down below, including my Patreon. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.